So I've had a couple of requests for my do-it-yourself cyclic build, uh, how it was done. So it was based off of a uh, T-Flight HOTAS X. Uh, this is just a standalone T-Flight stick, but this is the, the joystick part that would have been with it. The, uh, the throttle, when I tore it apart, ended up as part of that. That's a do-it-yourself collective. And uh, so, anyway, I cannibalized the stick from the old T-Flight and put it at the top of a shaft. This is just uh, PVC conduit, uh, just for going around curves. Um, the original stick here. Now, I previously had this wired. It's not wired at the moment because of the adjustments I was making and then so wire extensions run down through the shaft to this gimbal so this is the original gimbal that is part of the uh, joystick now it's cut off here so that the shaft comes down into here and then there's two screws mounting it and some glue, uh, the no more nails. I tried the uh, polystyrene glue, but it didn't hold very well. Um, also known as great stuff, which is used to build up the back of this terrarium. And uh, it's not bad, but I find the no more nails better. So in here, you see the gimbal which is mounted with rings and side rings. So this is the main ring. It's stable. It doesn't go anywhere. It uh, goes into the wood on each side. And then there's this center ring which gives you the travel in your yacht, or not your yacht, your roll. And then to the outside gives you your pitch. Now, here you can see that there's an extra ring here. It doesn't actually do anything other than provide space for these nuts in here because I didn't have uh, short, short screws to go through into the middle and it was just easier to take one uh, two inch screw, put it through and then block it off with the nuts on either side. So I just use this for space and then I shaved these down with the Dremel so that they didn't bind up on these screw heads here. Down below, you can see an head tracker, although it might not be lit very well. So I'll flip that down. Just move some stuff out of the way here. Okay. Underneath, there's an egg tracker mounted there. The wires are going to be for the other Arduino, which will handle the buttons and stuff. Um, I'm going to 3D print a new casing that will hold both the egg tracker and the Arduino, because the way this is right now, it's off-center a little bit. The, the screws don't give it the greatest hold, so it's, it's not perfectly accurate yet, but it's really smooth. Uh, the resolution jumped from 256 points to 32,768, which makes for a really nice flight. And with the amount of travel you get with the longer shaft, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, I just uh, took the leaves from an old oak table and uh, built the box around it. And cut some more holes to give it travel for the cable. And that's the build. So there's a few more mods to come, but I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to put head trackers in both the rudder and the collective to uh, make them very accurate and less reliant on mechanical parts. So that should be a fun project, especially since you can get some of the uh, head tracker version 2 stuff on clearance now which is really cheap, like two pounds. 
So that's it. Uh, I hate talking on video, so I'm going to end this now. Thanks. Bye.